three, two, one, let's go. What's good, family? Today is Monday, April the 1st. It is another day the Lord has made. I'm your brother, Adam, with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. Family, let's go. Let me start the video by saying thank you for tuning back in with us today. We love you guys and your support means the world to us. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our creator, the most high God and his son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Family, where would we be without the cross? Think about that for a moment. Now to today's end time news update. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, we're back with another end time news update and today we'll be taking a look at seven end time headlines, recent earthquake activity, the upcoming solar eclipse and a few day counts. Got a very interesting update today. You guys want to stick around to the end, but family, I'm telling you, it becomes more apparent by the day that we are honestly living in the biblical last days. We are currently seeing the convergence. A Bible prophecy happened on a scale like never before, and we can honestly see the tribulation setting its shadow on the earth. So family, what you say without further delay, let's get into our end time news update, because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Alrighty, headline number one comes from the Gateway Pundit on March 30th, and this end time headline reads... Oklahoma Bridge shut down after being struck by bars. Family, we got another bridge down. Check this out. This afternoon, a barge hit a, was hit on a bridge, Highway 59, causing the road to shut down temporarily. Excuse me. Five News reporter Parker Abels was there and has reaction from a witness. Holy so family, it has happened again. This time in Oklahoma, a bridge near the Kerlocken Dam was struck by a nice-sized barge and was temporarily shut down. Look at this post from Facebook from the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. U.S. 59 South of Salisaw at the Kerr Reservoir is completely shut down at this time due to a barge that has struck the bridge. Troopers are diverting traffic away from the area. The bridge is going to be shut down until inspections of the bridge can be made. Now, family, this is the second time within a week that a barge has struck a bridge. If you remember, this just happened in Baltimore a few days ago. My question to you is, what in the world is really going on? Now to headline number two. Headline number two comes from the U.S. Sun on March 30th, and this end time headline reads, Love bugs, trillions of bugs to swarm, and once per 221 years mating frenzy in weeks. It last happened to the founding fathers. Now, family, a warning right here. This one might make your skin crawl. Let's get into this. So, trillions of cicadas are set to invade the United States for the first time in 221 years, scientists say. In late April, two large broods of periodical cicadas are expected to emerge from the ground for a noisy mating frenzy. And the two large broods of periodical cicadas are going to emerge from the ground in the United States in late April, scientists say. So that's only like a few weeks away. Now family, look at them things right there. There are some hideous creatures right there, and there's trillions of them coming. So trillions of cicadas are going to reap havoc together over 17 states for the first time in almost 221 years. And family, check this out. Last time this happened was in 1803, when Thomas Jefferson was still president. And scientists are saying that they won't merge together again until 2244. And family, by 2244, we will be in the millennial reign of Christ. If you live in one of them 17 states where the cicadas are going to be reaping havoc, guys, we'll be praying for you. This is definitely one of them once-in-a-lifetime events that you want nothing to do with, guys. Now let's jump to headline number three. And headline number three comes from the Daily Mail on March 27th. And this end time headline reads, 
CERN to test most powerful particle accelerator during April's solar eclipse to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. So family, it's apparent that CERN is back to their shenanigans and now they're going to be doing it during the solar eclipse. We got to check this one out. So family, while the solar eclipse is going on next week, CERN will be smashing atoms together in an attempt to discover subatomic particles that exist inside of atoms. And family, let me ask you a question. Can you see the 666 in the CERN logo? Check it out. And family, if you look at the top of the particle accelerator right there, it almost looks like the all C and I. And I'm not sure what CERN thinks they're going to achieve during the solar eclipse by doing this. But family, whatever they're telling us, I'm pretty sure it's just a cover up. CERN is not to be trusted at all. So the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator is set to smash protons together on April 8th to search for invisible particles secretly powering our universe. Now family, if CERN wants to know what really powers our universe, it is the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And now CERN just decides to fire back up this machine during the solar eclipse. Something don't add up about that. Guys, in the comment section below, I really want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think they're trying to achieve something maybe they think they only can achieve during the solar eclipse? Let us know in the comment section below. Now the headline number four, and it comes from NowTheEndBegins.com on March 30th, and this end time headline reads, Pagan in Chief Joe Biden proclaims Easter Sunday to be TG, ABC Community, Day of Visibility, angering Americans, Christians, and Catholics. Man, what has Joe Biden done now? Let's check this one out. So back on March 31st, 2009, Former U.S. President Barack Hussein Obama made March 31st a day to honor the alphabet community, the T letter out of the alphabet community. Way to go, Obama. Well, family, this year, that day coincided with Easter or Resurrection Sunday. So, just for fun this past Friday, he rubbed salt in the eyes of voters. When Joe Biden declared Easter Sunday 2024 to be the National TG Day of Visibility and he did it on Easter Day, making it seem more important than Easter. What an abomination. Now listen to this part from the New York Post where they quoted Joe Biden. And I quote, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024 as TG Day of Visibility at the White House, he announced this past Friday, end quote. And family, then Joe Biden went on to say this, and I quote, I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of TG people throughout our nation and to work towards eliminating V-I-O-L-E-N-C-E and discrimination against all TG, gender nonconforming, and non-binary people. Now, family, in the comment section below, I would really love to hear your thoughts about this, especially considering the day that he did this. How does this make you feel? What's your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, family, let's jump to headline number five. And headline number five comes from Israel 365 News on March 29th. And this one is interesting. And this end time headline reads, Red Heifers Get Names. Oh boy, family. Let's see what kind of names they got. So the Temple Movement held a conference in ancient Shiloh on Wednesday concerning the Red Heifer. While the conference focused on the complex theoretical aspects of the historic Torah commandment to burn red heifers, the five crimson creatures who were the focus of the debate were all to the side, calmly chewing their cud. Man, if they knew what the intentions that these people had for them, I don't think they'd be calmly chewing their cud, family. The rare, yet adorable bovines were not entirely ignored. The organizers took a few moments to bestow names on the two-year-old cows. They named one of the red heifers, Hope. They named another of the red heifers, Redemption. That's an interesting name. Another name given was Life Given. And another name given was Comfort. And the final name given was Virtue. Now, family, if I had to take a guess on the one they going to try to sacrifice so they could rebuild the third temple, I think it would be Redemption. So the Red Heifer's names are Hope, Redemption, Life Given, Comfort, and Virtue. Family, in the comment section below, let us know. Do you think it'll be Hope, Redemption, Life Given, Comfort, or Virtue 
that ends up being sacrificed? Drop the name below and let us know. Now, family, Shabbat Parah has obviously passed. It was this past weekend. That is the Sabbath of the Red Heifer. There's a lot of talk that the sacrifice was going to go down that weekend. I don't think it did. But there's a lot of talk that they still want to have it done by Passover. So we'll continue to monitor this situation. Any new news coming out about it, I will report it to you guys. Now let's look at recent earthquake activity. Earthquakes are really important because Jesus in Matthew 24, 7 said this. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So family, let's look at earthquake activity the past 24 hours. So in the past 24 hours, there were 893 earthquakes up to a magnitude 5.9. 515 earthquakes below a magnitude 2. 254 earthquakes between a magnitude 2 and 3. 89 quakes between a magnitude 3 and 4. 32 earthquakes between a magnitude 4 and 5. And 3 earthquakes above a magnitude 5. With the strongest earthquake in the past 24 hours being a magnitude 5.9 that hit the Balney Islands. Now family, we're about to look at two end time headlines about earthquakes. Check these out. Okay, this one comes from the Belleville News Democrat on Thursday, March 28th. Earthquake that shook Southwest Illinois Thursday was second this month. Now family, I believe that's right there on the New Madrid fault line. And we've seen that area being hit with a bunch of earthquakes lately. And family, I've told you the total solar eclipse on April 8th, where it meets at the New Madrid fault line, I truly believe it's going to trigger a series of earthquakes right there. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, the next headline is from OregonLive.com on March 27th. And this end time headline reads, Latest Earthquake Cluster Strikes Off Oregon Coast. So you see my beautiful channel family, earthquake activity is picking up all across the world. And I fully expect over the next couple of months, especially in Oregon, South Carolina, along the New Madrid fault line, we are going to see some major, and I mean major, earthquakes. Now, family, let's look at some day counts. From today, we are one week away from the Great American Solar Eclipse that's going to take place on April 8, 2024. Guys, this is one of the most prophetic and most significant events of our generation, and millions of people are going to see it. We are 21 days away from Passover, which begins April 22nd and ends April 30th, 2024. And it's a day I always consider a high watch day, family. And we're 48 days away from Pentecost, which is May 19th, 2024. Now, Pentecost is a little bit more interesting this year due to the fact that the Great American Solar Eclipse happens 40 days before Pentecost. And if that eclipse is the sign of Jonah, just like Nineveh got a 40-day warning, that means the United States 40-day warning will expire on Pentecost on May 19th, 2024. What could that mean for the United States of America? Hmm, I wonder. And we are 184 days away from Rosh Hashanah, also known as Feast of Trumpets, which starts with the spotting of the new moon on October 2nd and ends October 4th, 2024. Rosh Hashanah every year is our highest watch time. We're 193 days away from Yom Kippur, which is also known as the Day of Atonement, which begins October 11th and ends October 12th, 2024. And family, I've always felt that Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, will be the day that Jesus Messiah comes and touches back down on earth for his second coming at the end of the tribulation. And then he sets up his millennial kingdom and we reign with Jesus for a thousand years here on earth. Family, that is going to be an amazing time. It's going to be worth all the trials and tribulations we went through to get to that point. And family, that's facts. Well, my beautiful channel family, that's our end time news update for Monday, April 1st, 2024. Guys, as always, I want to say thank you for watching as we put a lot of time and work into these update videos. So you guys watching them, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys with all our heart. And if there's anything that's happened the past couple of days that I didn't mention that you find to be significant, drop it in the comment section below and let us know. It'd be greatly appreciated, family. And family, the closer we get to that appointed day, the Watchman Adam News Channel will continue to do our best to bring you all the latest end time news. Thank you for all the support. And family, also remember this. It's 11.59 p.m. Wake up. Maranatha. The rapture is intimate. Jesus is coming. Luke 21, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up 
and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. What things, family? The things we be talking about on this channel. Lift up your heads, because our redemption draweth nigh. Well, my beautiful channel family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and please drop a comment. Because family, it helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because you see here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And we want to give a special thank you to all our channel members. And also, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And remember, no prayer request is too big and no prayer request is too small for our God. And family, that's absolute facts. And my beautiful channel family, if you want to make a donation to the Watchman Adam News Channel, we have ways you can do so. Check the description box below. It's always greatly appreciated and much needed, but please pray about it first. And family, you'll notice in the pinned comment, we have an Amazon wish list. That's for items we need for our homeless outreach. You'll have to enter our P.O. box when you go to order, but all the information is right there. If you want to help us with some items for our trip in two weeks, man, it'd be greatly appreciated. Well, my beautiful channel family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. I love you and remember, let's go Arpoxo! Take care, family, and keep on looking up. See you tomorrow with my video.